Today is Sunday. It's Sunday morning. I'm cooking a roast dinner and um, I made Bramley, um, Bramley apple sauce with some Bramley apples. The people picking up would have already taken one load and um, I haven't integrated the chickens today. I decided to do things how they were yesterday whilst there's still people in and out of the, the garden. I'll do some integrating tomorrow. I'm not really looking forward to it. Um, cockerel, I hope is on the mend. I, I, I can't hear either his chest. I can't think, well, I used to be a fucking nurse and I can't remember what you call it in, in the lungs. Um, but there's less, I can't hear him quite so much. He doesn't seem to be gaping. I'm just not sure about one of his eyes, but every time I go to look at it, he turns away, so I can't look at it. Um, but I'm hopeful that he's on the mend, but touch wood, I think that's wood. And um, we've had we've had some heavy rain in the night, I heard it. Uh, we didn't get storms. The storms were way over, over um, near Claremont Grande and um it's overcast here there has been some rain i stood out talking to the the couple collecting wood and we got a bit wet ida wasn't very happy because they're locked in this back garden whilst the people can come in and out yeah so um you got it on the wrong ear but it was a joke and i'm surprised really surprised at how many people didn't know what was going on i'm so shocked that people didn't know what was going on. And um, for those of you that, that question, no, I haven't injured my ear. There are photos on the webs, on the, the internet of Trump supporters wearing dressings on their ear, or as Kathy put it, Kathy eyes wide open, put it, I'll find it in a minute. Oh, it's not playing. Oh, I know why. Talk amongst yourselves for a minute. <laughs> Kathy Eidwise opens says, His idiot supporters refuse to wear masks during an epidemic, uh, but are now wearing sanitary pads on, on their ears in sympathy. I think I've lost my mind. I don't think you've lost your mind. I think they've lost their mind, although I think they'd already lost their mind. Um, so there was a few pictures. I shared them on, on a post on my, on here of um, Trump supporters, some of them in MAGA hats with a, a pad on their ear. Um, it's And I said, I have no words. I didn't say anything about it yesterday. I just thought, I'll do it for fun. I did it for fun. Somebody shouted at me, wrong ear. I feel like shouting back, I can't hear you. But yes, I was taking the piss. I haven't got an injury. Um, I was taking the piss. What else have I got to tell you? I might have to pause you now whilst I go and fiddle around i'm doing roast potatoes it's roast pork i'm doing roast potatoes i've just put them around the pork there's not a lot of room in the tray that it's in but the pork will be out in about 20 minutes and then i can ramp up the oven and um roast potatoes properly what else have we got carrots i'll do it um, roast potatoes carrots broccoli and some peas it's a bit of a lot a bit of a lot i don't think you can have a bit of a lot can you oh somebody talked about oh, kathy also sort of talked about how expensive the um starlinks is um, we're renting it and um it's probably about 10 euros more than i was paying for what we were using that was 14 megabyte upload and unreliable and left us without internet for 19 days um doing this means that we are not reliant on france telecom who own the infrastructure and haven't maintained the infrastructure over the years um and so we're always we lost our landline years ago when a tree fell on the phone line um and we waited two weeks and and, and it wasn't happening which is when we both got mobiles and we let go of the landline because it was like we just can't be held to ransom like that 
So now doing this means we're not able to ransom. Um, yes, it's Elon Musk. I hate him. And um, but this works really well. And um, it for us here where we live is has a poor network for mobile phones and for internet. Um, this this works for us, and we've often been connected by satellite. It was the only way that we could connect when we first came here. So um, I'm just going to pause you whilst I do a bit of fiddling in there. Um, I came back. We came back from putting the chickens away last night, and um, that's the second or third time I've felt red mite on me. It's really frustrating. I keep putting diatom down um, liberally because we've got lots of diatom. Liberal with the diatom. But I was sitting watching telly, it was about 10 o'clock and I thought, this is no good. So I had to go up and, and have a shower and a hair wash because I could feel them in my hair. I could feel them on my, around my neck. Um, and yeah, so I had to go and do all of that last night to get rid of them and put all my clothes in the wash. So what I'm wearing today isn't, I, I had my dress on yesterday and that's a bit like flowy around the bottom. And I imagine I was brushing against stuff and picking them up on the dress. So I've got um my short leggings on today three quarter leggings on today so i should be i should be okay fingers crossed i'm not going to do that because i can't that hurts um i was thinking about the pond the small pond at the front with the lily pads in um that basin bassin i think it's called bassin 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 um has been there for at least 70 years, 80 years, the people that lived here all that long ago, um, that was their only water source. So they relied on that um, and rainwater to, to provide the water they needed here. Um, there's another one out in the garden that, that's full of weed because every time I plant something in it, Ida would eat it. When, when we had three sheep, we planted the fig tree in, in it and um, they just ate the fig tree. So we moved that to the front. It's doing really well now. But I've planted stuff in there, but the level, the level falls in there of, of earth. And I don't know why. I haven't done anything. And it's got daffodils or, and whatever that come up in um, spring. But I, I, I think maybe they put that in as well. I never realised it was them. So, yeah, about 70 years ago, um, or, or even longer, that supplied their, their water. And they, um, so they had that. And once a month, they washed their clothes um, and then took them down to the weir, which is about a kilometre down the road at the Moulin de la Roche. And rinsed them in the weir. That's how they did their washing. So they, you know, they wash their clothes once a month. <laughs> we just think about how we are just so profligate with water nowadays and how wasteful we are. I've become less careful than I was uh, for a long time. We were careful with water. I'd tip it here and save it there and pour it into watering cans and use it. And um, more recently, I haven't been because it's exhausting. I find it exhausting having to keep decanting water here and there and, and bringing water down from upstairs, which is what we were doing two or three years ago when we were having really poor drought. And because we've had so much rain, I've, ta I've, I've stopped being so careful. And it's a bit naughty, really. Um, but I, I suppose I am careful compared to some people. I think some people automatically each day have a shower. Well, well I don't. Um, some people just wash their hair every day. Well, I don't. And um, some people fill the sink with water when they're having, getting up in the morning, and, and I don't. So I am um, sparing with water because I just... And we don't flush. We don't flush the toilet very often. Um, so we still do that. Um, which annoys Jo when she comes around and I've not flushed it. So I try and remember to flush it before she comes. Um, but we don't flush the toilet unless, you know, unless somebody's pooed in it. Um, because it's just a waste. It's just such a waste, isn't it? A whole load of water just to flush away a bit of pee. And there's people desperate for water to drink. Um, anyway, wasn't going to talk about that. 
So I talk, anyway, that's I don't know what I was going to talk about, but I have. So that's it for the day. I'm gonna. Um, I'm looking forward to roast dinner. I've got another hour at least, um, or more. No, probably an hour. That will do me. I know it's a bit early for Sunday roast for some people, but when you've not eaten since six o'clock the night before, midday is time. Um, so thanks for watching and um, see you next time.